I'm Cadet Captain Savvy, and welcome to this edition of Forge News. We have a number of things to report on today. Our top story is that the Crucible took place this past Saturday for our Academy plebes. During the previous week, we had a few unconfirmed reports from our sources that the Crucible was being scheduled for this weekend, so the investigative team was on the job digging in to get you all the details. Ma'am, is it true that the Crucible is scheduled for this weekend? No. Damn. <laughs> sir, is it true that the uh, Crucible is this weekend, sir? Why aren't you in class? I'm trying to collect uh, news for our network, sir. No comment. That was definitely a, a non-answer in the opinion of this anchor desk. By the sounds of it, we may be on to something. Great work, news team. During the Crucible, we were lucky enough to have a few of our field reporters embedded with the plebe cadre, and here's the first segment of our report. We're here with uh, plebe Leche. How do you feel that you just finished your first event of the Crucible? Um, I'm just proud of myself and my team, because I know that this is probably going to be one of the hardest things that we do here, so I'm just trying to get through this, graduate, get my cap shield, and then we can actually start living life as cadets. How hard do you feel the challenge was? The first challenge? It was decently hard. It wasn't, it wasn't anything that I haven't done before, but still a challenge. I believe it challenged me and the rest of my teammates. Uh, do you feel that you were able to motivate or keep your plea brothers going throughout this challenge? Yeah, certainly. Like, um, a lot of them were struggling during the swim, so we just had to keep, we had to, we had to try and keep them pushing, because I'm not sure if they, a couple of them would have finished if they weren't there. Thank you. Thank you. Forge News. Very exciting news. We have more on the cruise world later in the broadcast. You may not have heard, but one of the biggest stories on campus has been the hiring of a new food vendor. Being here at a military academy with a few hundred hungry cadets, you can imagine food's a big deal. This has been a story so we've been watching for some weeks now, so we sent one of our field reporters to see how things are going with the food. Here's what we found. Hello, the food's amazing here. We got lemonade, muffins, cereal, everything you can want. You know, I love the food here at Valley Forge so incredible. You know, the food's always amazing. We always have the rice bowl, the salad bar. It's amazing. I love it here. Hello, my name is Nigel. It's, I'm from Valley Forge Military Academy School, and today we'll be talking about the food in the mess hall. So first, what I have here is Frosted Flakes, and you, there's different types of soda. If you, get, if, you go, if you look over there, that's where you got bin over there. That's where you can get different types of soda. And you can get yogurt and granola from that, from the food salad station anytime you want, but you can only eat it for breakfast. And what I have here is chocolate milk, which you can get, which you can get it from there. But once you become a cadet like this, it's optional for you to get milk or chocolate milk if you want to. And yeah, that's it. The um, the food at Valley Forge this year has actually severely improved, and um. I really love how they, they brought more muffins into the cafeteria. The bacon is amazing this year. And yeah, that's all I gotta say. Actually, yeah, compared to last year, it's a lot better this year. Yeah. The food is amazing. The food isn't that bad. Uh, I heard it was better than last year's food. Uh, we have like uh, so many choices. We have yogurt for breakfast. We have, uh, we have cereal. We have like uh, normal milk, chocolate milk, and we have sodas and everything. So yeah, it's not really bad, but um, yeah, that's all I gotta say, honestly. This is a welcome change here at Valley Forge. Now on to the other news. Shannon Hall has received a much needed upgrade this past week. The school has replaced the aging front entrance doors with brand new top-notch security doors. They will be painted our traditional red in the days to come. Lieutenant Colonel Harley was quoted as saying, this is a much needed upgrade. The old doors were nice, but they were not meeting our security standards. We have also recently had the boilers in Shannon Hall upgraded, and we are eagerly awaiting the new stadium seating and press booth at the athletic fields. Let's check back in the crucible and see where we are. You won't fail. Do not let anyone left behind. You bring them together as a team. And my last point, and this includes to the leadership that are there to support, curb your language. I don't want to hear an excessive use of profanity. You don't need it. Last point, enjoy. Hey. 
assume a good pro firing position. Having a blast. Parade rest. What? What's the, what's the last one? You said it all. Well, this is very exciting, and we look forward to getting our plebes fully integrated into the Corps of Cadets. That's all for now. We thank you for tuning in. I'm Cadet Captain Sabri from Forge News.